Well, technology has been important for meeting all important challenges that we faced as humans. So when it comes to climate change, which is a huge challenge, um, it's again going to play a key role. And I'll speak really from the energy side. Um, energy is one of the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. It's the largest contributor to carbon dioxide emissions. And if we want to meet our climate goals, the way we produce energy, the way we consume en energy has to change very dramatically. And to do that, we need to um, really deploy our current technologies more, but we are also going to need new technologies and new ways of using those technologies. So when it comes to the climate challenge, what's very important is for our CO2 emissions to peak, to stop rising. Right now they are rising. Last year they were, they rose, um, they actually reached a record high level. So we're not at all on the right path. Um, they need to go down very quickly. So we need to change the electricity system. We need to have much more clean energy, much more renewable energy. And there's been very positive technology stories there. Um, there's been a lot of progress in renewable technologies, but there's still more we can do. There's still innovation, there's still areas that we can exploit even more. So for example, offshore wind, um, you know, floating solar, being able to use these resources differently, in addition to constantly improving how we use them and, and the efficiency of these resources. And when you have clean electricity, then you can actually reduce the emissions from other parts of your economy. And so that's also very important. It means you have more electric vehicles because then you have clean electricity. So your transport sector, you can shift that away from oils. But again, that will require, uh, that requires technologies. It requires the innovation we've seen that have enabled electric vehicles to now increase their market share. I think from, a, from, a, from an energy perspective, um, not just on climate, but just on achieving SDGs, it's very important when we're talking about energy access, access to clean cooking, electrification. A lot of the people impacted by lack of access are women, and changing that has a huge impact on, on women and their livelihoods and the way they can use their time, and so it has a really, really positive impact. I'd say from an from energy transition perspective, what I, what I described in terms of technology is where you're seeing a really big shift in energy. And as an agency that works on energy, we've felt concerned that energy is one of the sectors that is the worst in terms of the gender balance. So uh, women you know, make up 48% of the workforce, but in ener the energy sector globally, it's about 22%. And in the renewable industry, it's a little bit better. It's maybe 32%. Um, so as the sector changes and transitions and, and will shift, we need to try and use that as an opportunity to address this disparity. And also because this challenge is great and we need all the talent we have. And, and having a system that is excluding women and is making it difficult for women to enter that sector is, is just not going to work. We're not going to have the performance we, we want. We're not going to have the impact we want because we need all the talent.